What is up everybody? This is Tim coming at you with an unboxing and first look at a cracked Nitro deck. I got my hands on one. It was one I pre-ordered myself. I got the Super Nintendo edition here and I wanted to show it off uh, with you and share it with you guys. So um, I'm really excited about this. I've been really, really curious about uh, controllers like this where you slide in the switch into the controller and you control the game using the USB-C port on it. So it's not a Bluetooth controller. It is uh, just like if you're plugging into the dock, essentially. So um, let's get right into looking at it. And I'm going to try my best to tilt my camera down to show off some of the things and show my things here. Um, up bring it up here but I also have the website up so we can check out some of the features on it and while I and explain why I was excited about this and apparently the rest of the world is too because there's quite a few people out there who's done their unboxings but I wanted to give it to you from a Nintendo dad's point of view so uh, again there's going to be a different type of hold for this grips um, I know a lot of times, a lot of us dads are looking for that really good uh, controller feel in portable mode. And for me, I play in handheld mode the most. So that's why I'm always looking for the next best thing. Um, I've done a couple things, different things. I've used the Hori controllers, the Pro ones. I've tried the Compact ones. Um, I've also used different brands that have done their own. Recently, I, I used the Fixture S2 with um, uh, my Pro Controller. I liked that setup because I was using a Pro Controller and uh, it had a good feel to it. But this this was different uh, and allowed me to different do different things and also allowed me to have... Well, let's take a look at the website real quick. Let's switch on over here. Again, I got the Super Nintendo version, which is number three here. With the uh, that's the North American Super Nintendo colors, uh, which I like. The purple it gives me kind of like that Sky Warp or Decepticon feel. So if you're a Transformers fan, you you would know what I'm talking about. But some of the things I liked about this is that it uses the Hall Effect thumbsticks. Uh, I know a lot of Joy Cons, not Joy Cons, excuse me, a lot of Pro Controllers are starting to get these. Um, I have I have a couple of those too, um, and they feel great. So it was great to hear that I'd be able to use this uh, portably. Uh, it also has uh, rear thumbsticks, or not thumbsticks, rear <laughs> buttons on the back of the deck. And then it also talks about built for speed um, and all that fun stuff. So it will fit both the old school um, Nintendo Switch and the um, OLED. So if you have one or the other, uh, especially if you have the other one, it probably will kind of give it a new feel for you too. So something to keep in mind. There's ultra low latency, so when it's plugged in there, you can, um, you're not going to notice any latency. Uh, so let's see. There's also, oh, that's right. It has a true collection system thing too going on. I have the app downloaded, something I've been wanting to check out. But basically, it's not NFC. But what I thought was really cool was that it's really cool that it's not NFC. Uh, but I also thought it was fun to get an idea of which one you have i'm just trying to log in here let's see um i should have done this before i got in the, uh <laughs> doing this video but it is what it is all right so so hopefully I got that right. I'm not trying to figure this out all day. Come on, cracked. I know I signed in before. No, I don't want to update my profile picture right now. 
anyways, it, <laughs> all right, it has the app, and I'll I'm gonna check that out later, where I can find out what um, number edition do I have because I do have a limited edition uh, right here, as you can see in the nice shiny uh, writing there, limited edition Nitro Jet deck, so I can find out what number edition I have. And if you are a collector of these, um, then you can start collecting these type of things. I just missed out on the limited run colors, which is transparent uh, colors, but hopefully they, they, I think they are planning on doing some other colors in the future or limited runs again. So keep an eye on their website for that kind of stuff. And they are going to have other products as well. The other thing that this didn't show is that you can also replace the thumbsticks so you can have a different feel on them. But all right, let's open this up. Let me try explain this a little bit further. Hopefully that noise wasn't too jarring. The inside box also says limited edition here. So let me switch cameras. Ooh, something tickling my nose. All right. Let's see what we got here. That's right, I forgot I got the case too that comes with this. So let me put my camera down. Let's go right here. Hopefully this doesn't get in the way. All right, here we go. We got a case that came with it. And it also has a QR code you can scan to follow the, direct, the directions. Let's put that right here. Get this other box out here. Oh, that's the strap. So nice. So the strap can go on here, and I can carry it like a shoulder bag. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's open it. Let's open it up. Let's check it out. Here we go. All right, so we got some, of course, our manuals, all kinds of stuff here. There's also a warning on here because it will tell you that you have to go into a uh, mode on your switch to be able to control it. So let me put the camera back up here. All right, so if I switch this over to my switch... Go back over here. Let's go over here to the larger display. Let's go over to the switch. So from what I understand, you have to make sure that you go to controllers in the settings right here and turn on Pro Controller Wired Communication. That must be on in order for this to work. NFC functionality cannot be used when the controller uses wired communication. To use an amiibo, disconnect the USB charging cable and use wireless communication. So you're still going to need your Joy-Cons on hand to use those amiibos. <laughs> so keep that in mind when you turn that on. So let's go back over to here. All right, so that is what that warning is all about to make sure before you attach this, you are doing just that so here we go let's move the camera over to here get a better angle I need one of those cameras that go above <laughs> I'm looking at them Logitech has one that's coming out so I thought that was, I'll have to look into that for future unboxings Ooh, that's some sticky stuff there. All right. All right, we got that out of the way. Now, feels pretty solid in the hands. Feels like a, a pro controller. So we got a couple clicking spots here that will release the switch once it's locked in. All right, you can see, let's see if I get this on the camera, right in here. Ah. 
trying to get all right right in here there's a do 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 right there right there that's what holds the switch in there and then there's a button right in the back here where I can push it in and release the switch there you can see it moving all right but how do you like them colors I mean it's they got a GameCube colored one, as you guys probably saw when it went through, uh, when it strolled through all these. Like right there, there's the purple one. Uh, but SNES is my first Nintendo system, so I thought I would get this SNES one, especially with everybody else getting purple. I knew everybody was going to get that GameCube purple. So let's get the Switch out and plug it in here. Slides right in, clicks right in, and look, it says paired. Oh, wow, and look, this is lit up. That feels good. So these shoulder buttons are in a good place. Oh, and these, these right back here. All right, let me, let me put this camera back up here. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. So everything feels good in here. Everything's solid. This is not going anywhere. Um, and my hands are hitting everything in the right spots. So like right there, my two fingers are hitting right there on that on there. So this, this is going to be f fun to try out in racing games, uh, especially since I've been playing some... Uh, Horizon Chase 2 and uh, F099. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, plenty of reviews have gone through, you know, um, how it feels for them. I'm going to take some time with this and for maybe a couple weeks. Probably be talking about it on the Nintendo Dads podcast a little bit uh, during the um, timeout section. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to see how this feels in the long term. So I'm really excited about trying this out. Really excited that I got it finally. Uh, and this is my own very own one. They didn't send it to us. Although they they said they couldn't wait to hear what our, our reaction was to this. So looking forward to it. Um, oh, my Switch is, my uh, Pro Controller is still connected to it. All right. So lots of cool stuff to play around with and learn about this device uh, and then pairing or setting up the buttons. Uh, and don't forget, there is a kickstand back here. It is a single kickstand, but it's pretty solid. So you can set this down and play still in handheld mode. Like I said, my Pro Controller is still paired to it. Or if you bring your Joy-Cons along, um, you can do that. And let's see. Oh, the other thing I forgot to show. So I'm trying to get away already, but see the, the buttons right or the um, thumbsticks come off. It's just basically a turn and it comes right off. And then I get uh, it comes with some other thumbsticks. Let's take a look and see what we got. So this one is a flat circle. So you can see that right there. And then it comes with this one that has. Uh, the, about the same height, but it has a grip and it's indented. So there's that. There we go. Oh, let's try to focus on me. <laughs> and then, yeah, I got two of those. And then I'm, from what I understand, they are going to have more accessories and probably more of these things that you can pick up. The um, the other thing, too, is the GameCube one comes with the yellow thumbstick uh, with the circle. So, and then, so you just push it down, and then it clicks into place. And there, back on. I put the, uh, the indented one in there. So, I know this is not focusing very well. There we go, see? Let me get out of the picture so you guys can see this. 
Stop being so good, camera, and trying to focus on me. Hide. <laughs> All right. So, again, lots of great stuff uh, to mess around with here. I can't wait to see what number app I have or what number controller I have. And also, again, I'll report back to you guys a, a review of what this is like and this is, if this is meeting my needs. I've heard some com people complain that if you play a lot of games that have that use the right stick here, that it's hard for your harder to try to hold and move down there because of the placement of that. So if you do play a lot of games that use that, then this may not be for you either. But I'm gonna try it out uh, and see how it goes. All right, that's it. I think I got everything out of the way. And thanks for hanging out with me for the last 15 minutes and. Uh, I'll, I will check you later. Bye-bye.